Hi everyone. So this is tutorial sheet three, question seven. So the question is saying perform the indicated operation and express the results in the form x plus i y. So x plus i y is not uh, is it, it doesn't mean that you've been taught to express that in a rectangular form. No. Even just in this form, the way the, the, the way this part is here is also in the form x plus i y. So, um, okay. Anyway, it depends, but I don't know how your your lectures might want them to be left uh, like. But uh, what I would advise is that if you can manage, if you have enough time you can take it into a rectangular form but at the moment what I'm going to be doing here I'm just going to be leaving them in this form like this one for, for example so the first one there and uh, looking at these questions I'm just going to solve question I and question 4 because when you solve question I it means that you can solve question 2 this if you can solve question 1 you can also solve question 2 here if you can solve question 3 you can also solve question 4 and vice versa so I'm going to solve question 1 and question 4 the way I'm going to solve them that's the way you're going to solve question 3 and question 2 so question 7 1 so question 1 here so before I even start uh, solving you should take note to say if you have the first complex number Z1 and then you also have the second complex number Z2 Z2. Uh, what if you if you've been taught that multiply these? If you are multiplying these two complex numbers, if you are finding Z1 times Z2. So if you are finding Z1 times Z2, you are multiplying these. What you should put in mind is that Z1 times Z2 is nothing but finding uh, your R1. Your R1, you multiply it with your R2. In short, you are multiplying with you are multiplying in the magnitude of Z1 and the magnitude of Z2. Then once you multiply them, you open the brackets and then you you say cos and then you add the arguments. You add the argument of Z1 to the argument of Z2. So the argument of Z1, I'll say theta1. Theta1 plus theta2. Theta1 plus theta2. You add them like that. And then you also say plus I sign theta1 plus theta2 again. As simple as that. Theta one plus theta two. So theta one plus theta two. As simple as that. You even close like that. <coughs> Sorry, this one is not supposed to be there. Okay, so now let us try to solve uh, the questions that we that are in on question seven. Yeah. So the first one there is saying this. So meaning we have z one here with this uh, with this argument twenty five and the magnitude three, and z two with its magnitude eight, and uh, the argument has two hundred degrees. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to. So the multiplication of this will just be. Uh, what's happening? Oh, sorry. 
So the multiplication of these two complex numbers is just nothing but uh, you multiply 3 times 8. 3 times 8 you get 24. 3 times 8 you get 24. And then you open the curly brackets like that. And then you say cos. You add the arguments. So theta 1 plus theta 2 is going to give you what? Meaning 200 times 25, you get 225. And then plus, again you add the, you, you write sign first. So this will be I sign, this is going to be I sign, th sign, theta 1 plus theta 2, you still get the same 225 here. 25 plus 200, there you get uh, 225 degrees. So as simple as this, this is how simple this question is. Uh, we move on to the last question here, question 4. So question 4 there is division. This one is a little bit different. When you are dividing two complex numbers, Z1 over Z2, you are just going to divide your R1 by R2. You just going to divide this and then open brackets. And then instead of adding the arguments there, you subtract. So it will be cos theta1 minus theta 2 so cos theta 1 minus theta 2 like that and then plus this is supposed to be curly brackets or square brackets if you want to and then plus i sign i sign theta 1 minus theta 2 So like that. All right. So that is how you write your. That is how you divide complex numbers in polar form. So we write now our question there. We solve our questions. So my my question is here. So what I'll do is I'll divide the arrows. So. 12 divided by 3, I'm going to get, uh, excuse me, sorry for that, so, um, 12 divided by 3, I'm going to get 4, so I've divided the magnitude, 12 divided by 3, I'm getting 4, and then cos 200, cos 350, I'm going to say, cos, I'll open the, these curly brackets, so I'm going to have cos, and then theta 1 minus theta 2, meaning I'm subtracting this 200, the numerator, uh, minus the denominator argument. So, meaning 200 minus 350, I'm going to get 150. This is a negative number. Negative 150 degrees in brackets like that. And then plus I... I do the same there, I write sign, then after writing sign, then I'll subtract that, I'll get a negative 150 degrees, like that. Remember what I said, I don't know if, if that was question 4, I once said when uh, Okay, so, le so let me just, okay, I've written this four down, and then open brackets, then cos of negative 150 is just the same as negative, cos, it's, going, it's just the same as negative cos 150, and then this one will be minus sine negative 150 is just the same as negative i, 
sine 150 degrees so this is the final answer it has been expressed in the form x plus i1 as we wanted so thank you very much for watching make sure that you subscribe to the channel don't forget to subscribe press on the button there on the screen or just below the screen there is a button called subscribe uh, so subscribe there if you have any questions you can send to this line here on whatsapp and i'll be there to answer you thank you very much see you in the next tutorial video